Hi, my name is Andrei Orfomeyev and today I'd like to talk about hydrostatic pressure. Pressure is a force applied perpendicular to the uh, surface of an object per unit area on which this uh, force is distributed. Various units are used for measuring pressure or to express the pressure and uh, in international system the unit for pressure is Pascal named after uh, French inventor, mathematician and physicist Blaise Pascal. One Pascal is one newton per square meter and uh, there are many other units for pressure for example hmm, atmospheres bars uh, square uh, no pounds per square inches or also millimeters of mercury column we will talk about it uh, about it a little later and mill and meters of water column actually one atmosphere is 100 thousand near 100 thousand of pascals or near one bar or like 760 millimeters of mercury column or 10 meter uh, or 10 meters of water column uh, once i asked my student how many atmospheres in one bar and he told me uh, every bar has his own atmosphere so <laughs> it was brilliant because he uh, gave a right answer and also he because really they are very close and also he make a phrasing it was very brilliant every bar has its own atmosphere it's, it's very good so <clears throat> two main uh, properties of, of pressure pressure uh, always uh, directed perpendicular to the surface and the second in any direction the pressure acts equally and the pressure or in point of liquid can be measured or can be determined by this equation in this equation this is external pressure density of liquid acceleration due to gravitation and gravity acceleration so called and height of water column or in another world it is depth if we, if we want to find a pressure in this point so we will use this depth or or this height. So, <clears throat> two main conclusions from this uh, equation. The first, the pressure in liquid is caused not by uh, the weight of this liquid, by, but with its height, its uh, elevation distance, or something like this. Uh, for example, this, uh, this conclusion was proposed by uh, Pascal and the, uh, it is very famous his experiment with barrel when he used uh, the barrel full of water and a very long thin tube and uh, he uh, attached this tube to the barrel and may and fill it with water maybe from the maybe from the third floor and uh, the barrel started to leak and this means that the pressure was very high in this in this barrel but the amount of water was actually very little and this pro it, it proves this this conclusion 
And the second conclusion is that external pressure is transferred to all points of liquid without changes. It is known as Pascal laws, Pascal's law. Uh, and uh, actually, uh, this law has wide application. In, in, for example, the, the most famous one is hydraulic press, when we use two pistons with different sizes. Little piston, which displays a liquid, maybe uh, oil, for example, and large piston, which compress, which compresses some body, so if the the cross section of this piston F, F1 and cross section of this piston F, F2, uh, this, uh, uh, this force cause, causes the pressure and uh, according to this Pascal law it's uh, transferred to every point of liquid without any changes, so we can write it. And according, according to this, the force the, compressed, the force of compression is higher, is significantly higher than the force that we can, uh, which, uh, is act, which acts on this piece. So it's the principle of hydraulic uh, hydraulic press. Also, with this equation, we can explain the work of such pumps like airlifts. In airlifts, there a quick draw. There water and compressed air, and there uh, there is mix of water and compressed air, and actually, actually, uh, let's look at it. On the from this equation, on the horizontal line, the or horizontal surface, the pressure will be equal. So, if you consider this column of water and this column of mix of water, of water and comfort of air, so we can write that if external pressures are equal, it's atmospheric pressure in both cases, we can write that density of water and head of column of water is equals to density of mix and head of this mix. So head of this column is bigger because is its density. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Because its, its density is less than density of water, and uh, this is how works the uh, air lift. Uh, yes, this machine has very little efficiency, but with this machine we can pump the contaminated liquids uh, with, for example, sand or or settled particles. So it uh, has its benefits. So let's consider how to measure pressure. Uh, there are different devices and the first device was proposed uh, by Torricelli 
and it is very simple. It was very simple. It is a tube with mercury, and one uh, end of this tube is closed. So Torricelli just uh, you put this tube in a basin with mercury, and this tube was uh, previously filled with uh, mercury, and mercury flowed flew from this tube to the basin, and some column uh, Torricelli observed. And the height of this column was actually 760 millimeters of mercury. So, <coughs> with it is close, I'm sorry. With uh, this experiment, he proved that atmospheric pressure is like this, and uh, also he proved the existence of vacuum. Uh, vacuum is the absence of any matter in, in this volume. Uh, nobody uh, did it before Torricelli. So, this uh, device, this barometer, in barometer uh, measures the atmospheric pressure. Also, <coughs> If we talk about vacuum, a vacuum can be measured by a vacuum meter, and vacuum is the lack of pressure in comparison to atmospheric. So, if I have a line of zero pressure, absolute pressure, zero pressure, no uh, any no particles at all. And there are some atmospheric pressure, and I have the pressures that less than atmospheric. This is absolute pressure, and this lack to atmospheric pressure is vacuum. This is vacuum. And uh, if you uh, see, as you see, a vacuum can change from zero to one atmosphere. No, no bigger. And uh, also, vacuum is not so scared if, if we know about, no, not, not so yeah, scary anybody, if, as we know about uh, him it from movies. For example, in Total Recall with Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh, there is a famous moment with death of antagonist on the surface of, of Mars when his scaphander is destroyed. And actually, it's, it's not true. And uh, <laughs> the internal pressure will never make <laughs> such a scenes with you. So uh, maybe the better movie for explanation is sunshine and uh, in, in, even in open space deep space you uh, will not die because of vacuum yeah, actually you will die about because of heat heat uh, radiation because of heat radiation okay so uh, and if we have pressure then bigger or higher than atmospheric. This is absolute pressure and the excess of this pressure uh, excess of this pressure is manometric pressure. Manometric pressure is measured by manometer. And the simplest manometer is U tube. One end of this tube is joined to atmosphere, and another end to some 
some measuring point and from the difference of level of of liquid we can calculate the difference of pressures in, diff in measuring point and atmospheric with this formula. So, today we have considered the pressure, the measuring units, the equation for determination of pressure in point of liquid. Also, we uh, have looked at some practical examples and also uh, we consider the pre uh, atmospheric pressure, manometric pressure and vacuum. Okay, that's all. Like this video if you really enjoyed it and subscribe and I will produce another video maybe in the next 10 years. Uh, don't be rude in the comments, it's my first try. See you!